In the command window, type run important. It shows this message. We can help your research and engineering project. No matter of the size and the topic of your project, we can help. Visit www.yeeprogrammer.com. This is Marco Wu from yeeprogrammer.com. I'm going to talk about a GUI. Um, this GUI I downloaded from Network File Exchange. Um, and then you can find this GUI yourself on the website. Now, um, the reason I want to talk about this GUI because this again this one is a very simple GUI and have like the fundamental basic to set up a GUI. This is a very good example for people to understand. Now let me start the GUI. You see one, two, three, four. In the Liu string, I type Liu one. I do S string. You can see it put it on the top. I select number three. I put Liu two S string. It still put it on the top. So the GUI function is very simple. Now, let's understand the code. If you understand the code, then you can generate your, your own GUI. The good code is quite fundamental. Have one figure have, and three UI control. Now, figure. Figure is basically is the basic, is the, the background of the GUI. Now, you see like, the first input in, in there is units and pixel. So it asks, like, oh, what you set for the units? And then we set pixel. And then there is a like, um, position is a like, uh, where the GUI set, menu bar is where you want to do the menu bar. Very simple, straightforward stuff. UI control, you can see the style. Yes, uh, the first one is LS list, right? The unit set to be picks. Now, I will explain like, uh, it later. Which one is necessary, which one is not necessary. For the list, we set a like, one, two, three, four, uh, at the initial uh, uh, element in the list. So you see the string is one, two, three, four. Now for the ED edit, so you see like this one is like editable text. Okay, so you see uh, there is position, fun size, initial string is new string. At the end, we have the push button. The push button have the location, have the callback function. Have the string, what is you want to display in the callback, uh, in the in the button. So in here, there is a callback function. It's like we get the um, old string, we get the new string, and then we set the combine to the uh, list. Okay, now it may go very fast so far, but don't worry, I'm going to explain it into detail because I'm going to remove some of them one by one and so what is the difference. So first I remove the units in the figure. Now, I need to rearrange the code a little bit. And then I'm going to run the code again. Now you can see there is no difference. Basically it's still one, two, three, four. I add the number. It doesn't change. Okay, so just now I removed the unit for the UI control. So you can see like now I type AAA in front of new string, it still put it back in the first element. I set another element, it still put it back in the uh, first element. So it doesn't change anything. Now, let's say I delete the fun side. Now you see it is much smaller. The font is much more much smaller now. It does make a difference, okay? Now I delete the position. Now the list is become empty, so we delete the position. Okay, for the editable text, I delete the font size. Oh no, I delete the unit. I run it, and it doesn't make a difference. I delete the. Uh, I change the new string to happy. You can see it is from new string, it changed to happy in the editable text. Now for the push button control, I delete the unit. 
I delete the callback function. And let's see what happened. When I press the button, it, does, it didn't have any response. Now let's see, do I come up with any error? No, it doesn't have any error. Now let's see. Um, we want to see whether we can change the string sequence. Now I, I switch the old string and the new string position. And I want it again. Now the happy go to the last one. Happy one one go to the last one after I press the S string. Now you see like the while argument in is two uh is three. I change it to two. It come up with error. Why that happened? What's just that? Now we want if you if we want to find out what it is, then it is better to do a debug. Now I change it back to three, and then I run the program and in the debug mode. Now debug. What is this? Is let's see. Wow argument in. There are three stuff in this array. The first one is UI control. There's a push button. So it called by the push button. The second one is the action data. The event is action. The last one is what is inside the GUI. It's a figure, a list, and an editable text. So that has to be number three because we want to get the information from number three. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you.